We're seeing new video tonight from the night the grandson of Cleveland's mayor was shot to death. It is providing some clues into what happened as police search for his killer. It started with a 911 call September 19th from a woman who says she witnessed the shooting. Mayor Frank Jackson grandson asked you to drop him off somewhere. When I dropped him off to go pick up his motorcycle, the dude jumped out of a gray Chrysler tinted windows and shot him. I'm not there no more because I pulled off because they started shooting. New surveillance video from a CMHA camera outside a home in the area of Anita Kennedy Avenue and East 70th shows some of what happens that night. Cars driving by and a group of what looks to be kids in the street. Then somebody on a dirt bike rolls by. A car comes behind, the biker swings around and stops. More cars pull up. One starts to drive off, then backs up. The driver looks to be talking to someone walking. That person then opens the door to one of the other cars. The video jumps so we don't see exactly what happens. But then a car, similar to one we've seen before, pulls up and parks. Another car comes on scene. Someone gets out of the back seat. That car pulls up a bit. Someone runs in front of it and up a sidewalk between two homes. The video freezes again. That person is replaced by someone different who walks a few steps up the sidewalk and looks to turn and point. A CMHA officer then describes the moments the surveillance camera captures what appears to be gunfire. Our camera was facing it. It's a little far away, it's grainy, it's jumpy, but we have persons, we have gunshots. I have some vehicles that CUPD would probably like to see. There was a man with a white hoodie, maybe a gray hoodie, hood drop over his head, walked up behind him, several shots. Then the video jumps again. We don't see either person again. Some cars leave the scene. About a minute later, you see flashing lights. Somebody waves over a fire truck. It's not long before police cruisers arrive. Crime scene tape goes up and an ambulance arrives. The medical examiner says Jackson was shot multiple times in the head, the arm, and upper back. A motorbike and a cell phone were found nearby, collected as evidence. Police have not identified any suspects.